Hello. So I've recorded this, I don't know how many times now, but in between recording, I have been messing around with the sound quality. And so hopefully at this point, I've done a pretty good job of it. And let's get to it. So I want to talk to you about Chrome Vox. And Chrome Vox is, uh, just get rid of this. Chrome Vox is an extension for Chrome and it's written by Google, so it should be fairly safe. But of course, I, I don't guarantee that. Uh, but I, you know, I feel more comfortable running an extension that's been uh, written by uh, the folks at Google than some random guy. Anyway, uh, once you install it, then you can click on it and you'll see that there are some options here. And if you click on this, you get this screen in your browser. I've unchecked all of these. I, I'm using the uh, UK English female voice because I think it records better than the male voice. And you're going to be hearing it before long. So I uh, left the classic key map, but I did change the modifier key. Just come in here and hit whatever Control you want. Control plus alt is now the new Chrome Box modifier. For your modifier keys, I, I want... Uh, Control plus win plus alt is now the new Chrome Box modifier. See, that's what I want. Uh, insert is the sticky mode key, and A is the activate or inactivate. So if I want to activate, if I want to, it's active now. So if I want to turn it off, I press and release Control Win Alt. And then, plus Win Plus Control is now the new Chrome Box modifier. But you can't do it from within that box. You have to click on something else. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna hit those three keys and release them, and then press A. Chrome Box options 53.0.2784.6 enable verbose descriptions. Enable verbose descriptions. Right. Place Chrome Box interactive tutorial step one of nine lesson one about Chrome Box and the keyboard tab. With, with the help of Chrome, Chrome Sticky Mode, mode enabled. enabled. All right, so let's do this again, because I, I wasn't having luck doing it from within that particular web page. So I'm going to press and then release all three keys at once, and then hit A. Chrome, Chrome Box is now inactive. And I don't know if you heard her correctly, but what she said was Chrome Vox is now inactive. Now, I'm going to press and release those three keys again and hit A. Chrome, Chrome Box user guide feedback lesson one about Chrome Box and the keyboard lesson two level navigation lesson lesson one about Chrome Box and the keyboard. All right, so I just clicked on that with my mouse and it read it. And now if I hit the down arrow. With the help of Chrome Box spoken feedback, you can use your keyboard to explore the web. Let's start with what you need to use this guide. If you want to stop Chrome Box from talking at any time, press the control key. All right, so the control key really doesn't work very well. I've been trying to use it and without success. So what I have found though, is that whenever you want to stop this from talking, if you hit insert, it stops. With the help of Chrome, sticky mode disabled. It says uh, the insert key is used for sticky mode. And whenever you hit it, it says sticky mode enabled or sticky mode disabled, but it stops talking. So if it's annoying you, you can always hit the insert key and that will get it to stop. So uh, if you hold down the three keys, the Chrome Vox keys, and you hit the down arrow, You'll move down and you'll start reading the next bit. Let's start with what you need to use this guide. If you want to stop Chrome Box from talking at any time, press the control key. Now, the insert key turns on sticky mode. Sticky mode enabled. When sticky mode is enabled, you don't have to hold down the Chrome Vox keys. You can just hit the down arrow. B, control, and alt. And keys pressed at the same time. Sticky mode disabled. And it'll take you to the next bit. Now, with sticky mode disabled, you can hit the arrow key over and over again, nothing happens. So uh, 
if you want it, if you want to have sticky mode off and you want to go up and read that paragraph again, you have to hold down the Chrome Vox keys. That's the control, the window, and the alt key, and then hit the up arrow. And unlike activating, when you activate, you have to press release and then hit the A. With this, you have to hold them down while you hit the arrow. It's not a consistent interface, which is annoying, but that's just how it is with programs. The programmer doesn't necessarily give you a consistent interface. And if you want to use the tool, you just have to learn that. So with sticky mode on, I don't have to hold these three keys down. I can hit the up and down arrow. What else can I hit? I can also hit the uh, right brace, the square bracket. And let's make sure sticky mode sticky is on. Sticky mode enabled. Let's hit that right brace there. Rate 23%, rate 25%, rate 27%. And it's, and it's increasing the rate at which it's reading back to me. Now I'm going to hit the left brace, the left square bracket. Rate 25%, rate 23%. Rate 21%, rate 19%, rate 17%, rate 15%. And it keeps slowing down. Rate 17, rate 19%. All right, so what's another thing we can change? We can also change the granularity of what's selected when we hit the down arrow. Right now, if I press up, it's going to uh, highlight the next group. And a paragraph is usually a group. Uh, so if I hit the minus key now, it's going to change that granularity. Group B, Control and Alt. Group B, Control and Alt. If I Keys pressed at the same time form a key combination called there. Object, B, line, word, character, T, tango. So. So if I keep hitting the equal key, we'll get to the point where the uh, where the resolution is the character. H E space C O N space. If I hit the minus key, it'll go word to and now it's at at the word keys press at B time. If I hit the equal sign again, character T whoops, wrong tango. Way. If Word. I hit the, the minus again, line. now the it'll control go to and the alt keys pressed at the same time form a key combination called the Chrome Box. Keys. Most navigation shortcuts in Chrome Box begin with this shift and search combination. If I hit if you're the minus key one more time, object. Now it's at the object. Most navigation level. shortcuts in Chrome Box begin with this shift and search combination. If I hit if it you're one not more sure time, where these keys are, it's at the largest Press the space level. bar now. Group, which is the B, group level. Control and Alt. Keys pressed at the same time form a key combination called there. Sticky mode disabled. So the the group is the largest granularity, and that's normally where you want it because you want to read a paragraph at a time. Uh, and so if the sticky mode is enabled, all you have to do is hit the minus or the equal key to change the granularity. If it's, if it's not enabled, if sticky mode is off, then you have to hold down the Chrome Vox keys while you press the minus or the equals key to change the granularity. All right, so that's pretty much it about Chrome Vox. Chrome Vox uh, options tab. The only other thing that you may want to know about uh, before you go off on your own is how to open up this Tutorial. Chrome Box Interactive Tutorial Step 1 of 9 Lesson 1 about Chrome Box and the Chrome Box Options tab. So the way to open that is you hold down the Control, Window, and Alt keys, in other words, the Chrome Vox cord, and then while you're holding it down, you press and release the O key, and then you press and release the T key. Chrome Box Interactive Tutorial Step 1 of 9 Lesson 1 about Chrome Box and the keyboard. Sticky mode enabled. And then, uh, you, then you can release the uh, Chrome Vox uh, key cord, which is Control, Window, Alt. And that's it. Then, you know, once you have that, go through this lesson, uh, go through this whole tutorial and learn all of the little details about it.
And I think you'll find that it's a valuable uh, tool. That you, so you know, if you want to read something uh, and get up and walk around, you can have it read to you. Uh, personally, I think that when I read something and hear it at the same time, I re uh, the chance of my rem remembering it is greater. So it's a good learning tool uh, as well. Anyway, I thank you very much uh, for joining me, and I hope you've learned something. Chromebox Interactive Tutorial Step 1 of